Hey y'all, how you doing? Um, so, I decided to start recording here instead of the doorway area. Because look at how spooky it is now. Oh, apparently going into black space was ooh, rough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all the doors. Once that's done, <coughs> I will replay through the main area on my, on my own go. Edit that out and then we'll start because there's a lot of doors to go through. Man, I missed a lot. I'm so glad I saved when I did. All right, let's see here. Now I'm curious about something because I did go through a, I did reload this and go through a door on my own. Uh, yep, there it is. Right, give me a second. Okay, just need to make sure I was recording. So, no, the doors are not specific to the location because I went through a door to the far left to get here. So that's good to know. The rocks talk? No, of course not. Well, who can? Is it raindrops? No. Oh, hey. So what other truth are you gonna lay on me? I miss you, Sonny. You are always someone I could depend on to listen. My problems, my hopes, my dreams. You knew them all. So if you're still there, please let my words reach you one more time. Nope, it's gone. Gone forever. If, if I didn't save before I go through the door, it would have been gone forever. Ooh. Ooh, we're getting weird trees now. Yay! This is his sorrow. It's the sorrow. He's summoning the dead back to life to attack you while you're unconscious. Oh, that was great. Alright, so let's see what else shows up in these doorways. What more horrors I wait. Okay, faceless friend clones. Okay, oh, you get back here. <coughs> what? Why are you cut in half? No, get out of my way. I need to go see Basil. I feel like Basil's the one I need to speak to. Nope, apparently not. There's all... They've all been cut in half. Give me this key. There's now just gonna be spooky visions. I want more story, damn it. <coughs> Pardon me. <coughs> it's only been <coughs> it's only been like an hour. I'm still sick. I've eaten, but I'm still sick. Bleh. Ah, here's the heights. Ooh, realistic background. Ooh, it's bed. I wanna go to bed. I took a nice nap. Oh, I actually did go to bed. Okay. Oh, good. One, two, three, four. Ah! I, st I stepped in it wrong. Oops. Oh, well. Broke her back. It's fine. She'll be fine. Hey, Basil. How are you doing uh, staring at the moon? Oh, Maury, is it really you? How did you find me? Are Kel, Aubrey, and Hero here too? I missed you all so much. I'm glad the treehouse is still standing. Treehouse? All right! They said apparently there was a treehouse in the back of the house. I haven't been able to go back there because it won't let me. Everyone worked really hard to make it together. Let's go home, Omori. Oh, God. What? Date. Date. It said cat, summer, date. What? Toy. Gone. Fun. Book. Book. Cook. What what the hell is Dr. Seuss nonsense? Game, cards, cookies. Toy gone fun. More toys. TV Kel Heavy. What the fuck's going on with this? Why is this memory broken? Toast! Friend. Toast Game Cookies Cards. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. Alright, so he's probably gonna fall off the building, isn't he? I mean, like, ah, dead. Oh, it's an elevator. 
the fuck? An elevator? I wonder where it leads to. Maybe it can take us back home. Uh, no. I don't believe it. I need to take the elevator, don't I? I need to take the elevator. Key acquired. Where do you want to go? I don't want to go to Vast Forest. Huh. Okay. I guess this is the part, part where Basil dies. Or... Not? Actually, while we're in here, can I share something with you, of Mori? Uh-huh. That's Pluto. Oh no, that's the grass! What? Um, why is he stuck in there? Oh, hold on, more. I, I think I'm stuck. Can you help me out? Yep, I knew it. I fucking knew it. That's pretty horrendous. <laughs> oh, you got resin eviled. I would, you would have gone up if that was the case. That's that's pretty rough. Ouch! You go away. Hmm. Hmm. It's just fucking with you. Although Basil keeps trying to tell you something important, apparently. See, this is why I'm glad I came back. I quit. I quit. I don't want this. I do not want. Do not stop. Stop. No, 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 no. We, we don't want this. Oh, this poor fish. Back then, I wanted to save what was left. But even after everything, you left me, Sonny. I waited so long for you to come back. Even seeing you now, it's hard to think straight. I can feel my heart hurting and I want to cover my face and hide. There are so many things I want to say to you, but the words won't come out. I just... I waited so long for you to come back, Sonny. I think it's because it literally said that Sonny has been inside his house for the last three years. So he's just been waiting for him to finally come out and say hi for all those long. But you never did. Not until just recently. <gasps> I didn't mean to! I'm so sad for a fish, but not for a goat. This is pretty rough. This is pretty rough. Send me back home. Alright, what other fun things are here, huh? What other fun amusement-like things do you hold for me? Because there are. There's some more stuff coming through. <clears throat> some important story stuff. Ooh, you look like a monster over there. I'm now in Last of Us territory. Which one? I don't know. One of them. <gasps> it's the stump. Basil. <laughs> Mori. Psst. I'm Mori. I'm right here. <laughs> this is, you know what this is? This is Supernatural's episode, The Hole. Where... Dead, 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 dead. It's, it's been years. It's not really a spoiler. It's a spoiler, but yeah, whatever. Ta-da! Surprised to see me? I've been hiding out in this stump since I got here. I'm not the best at defending myself, but I think I'm pretty good at surviving at least. Anyway, I knew you would come to save me, Amori. Yeah, you're pretty good at surviving. <laughs> and I'm sure that we'll be able to make it out of this place now that you're here. This place seems a little dangerous, but I trust you. Nothing bad can happen while you're with me. Right? Remember the woodsman? Hey, Amori, you're acting kind of cold. D did I do something wrong? Let's take the raft. Come on, Basil. What did you do wrong? You kept dying. You died over and over and over and over again. Now I'm just sick of it. It's just like, oh, there he is. He's dead again. All right, Kenny. 
Mori. I don't like this place at all. It doesn't feel very safe here. Eh, what's the worst? But at least we have each other. Ha ha ha. He's gonna fall overboard. And uh, actually, there's something that's been really bothering me. Would you care to hear me out? Yes, yeah, he keeps trying to tell me something and he keeps dying before he can. Fucking say it! <laughs> that's, 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 that's just headless. <laughs> really? Really? Hmm. No shadow, Basil? No, there's a lot of red. It sure does feel like Basil's just there just to get killed over and over and over again. Hi, I'm Basil! <coughs> this is gonna make him heartless. He's gonna be immune to it. Oh, about that! About immunity! That turned real quick. Oh, that wasn't good. That's seven years bad luck. Ow. It's 14. What the fuck is this place? I broke another mirror. Alright, let's not go back through that world. That world's not fun. That world's not fun at all. No, 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 no. Let's just move on. go to sleep. There it is. Sunny, we're moving away. Yeah. There we are. For so long you kept the truth shut out. But something made it slip. And the hole that it made, it won't stop spreading until you find the root of it all. The one that has seen the truth. Will you guide me to him, Sonny? No. Eh, eh. Stay away. Now. So that, that was the one I could have missed. But now it's put the fear in that I might have missed one without even realizing it. I hope not. Oh, this looks fun. Hi, hi, Mari. Mari is here. Mari is also here. Aubrey, hi, Aubrey. Look at all these dead people. Hey, Kel. Kel is here. Hey, Basil. And Hero. Alrighty, what am I missing? Hmm. Basil seems to be the only one who doesn't have a swimming figure. Let me see. Nope, 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 nope. You stay away from me. Okay, see, like this one, it looks like... No, there isn't a, a shadowy being I can talk to. But I'm really... The, the fear that I might miss one has been instilled in me at this point. I hope not. I really don't. We. Yay, happiness. We're back in the happy place. There's nothing wrong that can happen here, right? What's the worst that can happen? Hey, Basil. Look, he's here. With his book. Amori, you're here. Oh, I'm so relieved. I tried finding my way out, but I kept getting lost over and over. I'm sorry. You must be tired of saving me all the time. Maybe I should just have tried harder. Anyway, everything is fine now that you're here. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah, let's go home, right? I'm sure that'll be easy. 
Let's go in this cat hole. Hmm. The whole time I've been here, I've been looking through my photo album to keep me company. When I was feeling scared, I would look at all our happy memories together. It really helped me keep my hopes up. I feel like there's some photos missing, but maybe I'm just imagining things. How are Aubrey, Kel, and Hero about anyway? I hope you all don't worry too much about me. I can't wait to see everyone again. Yeah, about that. Uh-oh. Hey, it's Hero. Hero? Is that you? Amari, look, it's Hero. You didn't tell me everyone was already here. That's not good. Uh-oh. 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 The world's breaking, and the music's also breaking. Oh, what's going on? Oh, they made a bridge. I could have done without that. Could have really done without that. Why'd you leave? Oh, there's everyone. And there's the whole... Oh, 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 oh that yellow cat. Kel, Aubrey, it's so good to see you guys. How have you been? Did you miss me? <laughs> Wait, what? What are you guys doing? Ow. Oh, it's... Oh, uh, Mori. Holy shit. Um. Oh, it's just squishy. Man! Aubrey always gets what she wants. Hi, Amori. We were hoping that you'd come by soon. Want to play cards with us? We were just about to start another game. <laughs> Kel and Aubrey have been fighting a lot again. You would think that they get tired after it for a while, but they're both just full, full of energy. Uh -huh. I have a friend that's a little bit sensitive to this kind of thing, and he's like, I want to play, and I'm like, no, you don't. No, you don't. I, I, don't, I don't think you can handle this game. I honestly don't think you can. <laughs> hey, buddy. So is that all the doors? That that was that was a strong final door. Uh huh. It looks like it. I just want to make sure. Let's go up a little bit, a little bit at a time. Uh huh. Nope, that's all the doors. All right, so we're good. Okay, he's just he was just hanging out there. A loose wire. There's no light bulb here. Nothing but static for sorrows. Super spooky sketchbook. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and save. Wow, that was a whole 20 minutes extra footage. Dang. All right, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just stop the recording here. I'll pick it back up once we're at one day left. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, we've returned. It was actually shorter than I thought it was gonna be. New message. Hey, Sunny Kiss Mommy, tomorrow's a big day. The movers will be first thing tomorrow morning. I gave them the key, so don't freak out if you see them. Remember to finish organizing your things today. I'll be picking you up in my car out front. Just come outside when you're ready. Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye! <coughs> Dying. No. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Good morning, Sunny. Rise and shine. I noticed the to-do list with the chores your mom gave you, so I finished them all. Hope you don't mind. Yep, so there we go. Our chores are done. Also, I made you breakfast. Come down and get it while it's still warm. Kale's already on his second plate. <laughs> He's wearing an apron. I gotta brush my teeth. Yes. Yay! <laughs> brush your teeth before you eat. That's how it works, right? <laughs> Top of the morning, Sonny! You better start eating before I finish it all. I already ate most of the bacon, though. Another plate of bacon coming in hot! 
Oh, boy, all for me? Thanks a bunch, bro. <laughs> oh, could that be? I'll go get the door. It's gonna be your mom. She's gonna be pissed that you spent the night over here. What's you? Ew, what is all this? What the heck, Kel? Okay. An unfinished plate of breakfast. Oh, no. Open it? Yes. It's completely empty. <laughs> oh, it's you! Huh. Huh? What's going on over there? Dang it, Cal! <clears throat> now I have eggs all over me. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, but you're the last person I'd expect to see here. What are you doing here, anyway? I was just about to get to that. It's just... It's Aubrey. She's not answering her door. Or her back door. Or the rocks we've been throwing at her window. She was really upset yesterday. I know this is your fault somehow. Tell me what you did to her. We didn't do anything. She's the one with the problem. Hold on, Kel. If Aubrey's that upset, we should at least try to do something to help. This is Aubrey we're talking about. We've all known each other since we were kids. You weren't there when she pushed Basil into the lake. I told you, she's different now. We shouldn't bother with people like her. It's true that she's changed, but that, that doesn't, it doesn't change the fact that I still care about her. And even if she doesn't show it, I'm sure Aubrey still cares about me, too. That's just the kind of person she is. Hmm. I don't know about that. Today's our last chance to do this before Sunny leaves. There's no way I can just let it end like this. We should at least try to talk to her. Ah. Well, me and Sunny can't tag along. But you're gonna have to be the one doing the talking. She listens to you the most. Thanks, Kel. Hey, Kim. Thanks for asking us for help. You're a good friend. Uh, 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 sure, whatever. <laughs> oh no! You've been struck in the heart! Why don't you head out first? We'll meet you there. Okay then, see ya. Oh, a hero knows how to manipulate people. No, not really manipulate, but knows how to work them over. Wow, everything really is just cleaned up. Yo, Sonny, thanks for letting us sleep over last night and for spending your last few days with me. You're a real friend. High five! Yeah, sure. Ha-ha! High five! Oh, that was a shame, apparently. Yes. Save it the picnic basket, please. Classy white mailbox. Oh, okay, okay. Where the hell... Oh, you're not gonna let me do it, are you? Fuck. I also don't remember where the, uh... Where the thing was. Hmm. Ooh. Oh shit, they really have all been here. I'm not I'm not allowed to go past them. Hopper was supposed to watch the new dance I made today. Do you think she's avoiding me on purpose? The looks down, Kim. Everyone has bad days. You know Aubrey always bounces back. Aubrey isn't feeling well. How could this be? It must be the work of something more sinister. Perhaps an evil mastermind. We must track him down at once. I'm not allowed to switch. Oh, he'll just do it automatically. Hello? Is anyone there? Come to think of it, have we ever been inside Aubrey's house before? I don't think so. She she always came over to play with us. I don't remember hanging out at her house at all. Hello, Aubrey. Is anyone home? Hello? Oh, it looks like the door was open. Let's go inside. Breaking and entering. It's gonna be a rundown house. It's a broken house. Broken home. Trash is strewn across the floor. Pretty rough here, ain't it? Aubrey's mom. Huh. She's all sorts of zoned out. So what the hell's with this hole? She's probably in the attic. A mirror. A dirty bathtub. Summer ramen noodles. <laughs> yeah, it's a broken home. Oh, there she is. Useful for rainy days. Look at that poor rabbit. Hey, Aubrey, how you feeling? She looks fine, right? 
What the heck are you guys doing here? Get the hell out of my room! We're sorry for intruding. It'll only take a bit. We just wanted to make sure you were okay. <laughs> I'm fine. I've been hearing some things, but I just want to hear from you. Can you tell me what happened yesterday? Nothing happened. You pushed Baz onto the lake! You know he can't swim. I didn't mean to do that. I just meant to push him away. He could have drowned! I said it was an accident. Look, I'm sorry, okay? You're the one who keeps showing up and acting like you're better than everyone. Well, you're the one going around bullying Basil and stealing his stuff. Stop talking like you know anything about that. I keep telling you that it's none of your business. But it is my business. You, you and Basil, and everyone here, you are my best friends. All right, all right. I see the problem here. This is just a typical Kel and Aubrey fight. <laughs> just make up, you two. You've done it so many times before. Aha, uh -huh, so you took the ones. Hey, these are the missing photos of Mary. There. They're all I have left of her. But you know it's still not right of you to take them from Basil. These photos belong to him. Well, it's no use now. Even if we have these photos, I already threw the rest away. They must be long gone by now. That's not true, Aubrey. Sonny has them right here. What? He does? But how? I could have sworn I threw them away in the trash. Unless you and Sonny... <laughs> you really dug through my trash for this thing? <laughs> That's kind of gross. <laughs> Aubrey, let's put Mari's photo back into the photos back into the photo album. All these photos, they belong together in one place. Oh no, my photo album, how could you? So these are photos we've never seen really before. Come on guys, we should do this together. Wow, there's a lot of photos. Uh, what was the first one? I guess it's this one. I don't know. Oh, wow, that's really far, far away. There's like a million photos. I gotta go through all of them. At least I know which ones it is. It's the one that just has uh, Mari in it. There you are. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Why do you have to be so out of place? This one's gotta be near the end. Because they were getting ready for a recital. That's Hiro and Mari. <coughs> Man, it's like a... It's a puzzle where it's, it's not really needed, but it's also needed. It's the easiest puzzle in the world. Just put this, this where it belongs. She's playing piano, which... Shouldn't be any of the end. Oh well, get, funny. Funny enough, it is at the end. That one page is gonna have like a million of these. Oh, he he learned to play violin first, and then she got piano, and then she died. Woo. God. Oh my god, how how many Aubrey, how many fucking photos did you steal? And like everything. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to 
go through so many. Um, this is probably after the piano picture. Yep. This is tree house. Uh, I don't know. Oh, there we are. So Hero was in love with Mari. Well, I guess that explains why he went fucking bat so crazy. And the finale. You better let me go through that. Yes. Okay, good. There we go. It's my 12th birthday today. I thought my friends forgot, but they all surprised me with some strawberry cake. I feel so lucky. This year is looking to be a good year. Another group photo. This was uh, a little after I opened up all my presents. Mari brought me this photo album, and everybody, everyone else brought me film for my camera. I'll try my best to use it all. We got some of these already. Mari and Hero fell asleep on the couch. They look so cozy together. <laughs> Hope they don't mind the photo. Mari's dad might be kind of mad if he saw it. Hero and Mari washing dishes for breakfast. We're staying over at Mari and Sunny this weekend. It's getting warmer lately, so we're about to go to the park. Kelsales is a secret lake area behind some bushes, so we're all gonna go check it out. Uh, nope. There we go. It's already the last day of March. We're having a picnic with Mari at our secret lake spot. Mari wanted to take a picture of everyone. Say cheese. After eating all the food, everyone fell asleep. Except me, Hiro, and Mari. Something unfortunate happened when I was taking the photo. <clears throat> Thanks a lot, Hector. I'll have to cover it up with a tape later. What? Oh, the dog. Oh, okay, gotcha. You see the dog in the back? I gotcha. I caught Mari carrying Sunny on the way home from school today. Damn, she's strong. She must have fallen asleep on the bus. I thought it was cute, so cute. So I got my camera out as quick as I could to snap this once in a lifetime photo. <sighs> Sometimes I wish I had a sibling. Wait, what? Oh, carrying Sunny. Still fucking strong. Mm -hmm. There we are. Sunny and Kel gave up making the flower crowns and ran off, but Aubrey and I got the hang really fast. Everyone thinks the flower crown really suits me. Maybe just the flowers, okay? Yeah, that's Aubrey. Mari brought everyone popsicles, one of every flavor. Sunny got lemon, Hero got root. <laughs> Kel got orange, Aubrey got watermelon, and Mari got grape. Mine was banana. Tasted okay. All of our shoes in a circle. Can you guess who's a who's? No. <laughs> Mari says she wants to get a summer tan. I'm scared to fall asleep in the sun since it gets sunburned really easily. Mm, I'm not sure what Kel's doing here, but he's probably having a good time. Hero sleeping on Mari. He's all tired out from swimming. Well, it seems like Mari won't be able to get her summer tan after all. We're about to head home, but I managed to cast one last photo of Mari and Hero. They look so happy. A match me in heaven. Yep. Yep, they were madly in love, and then she had to go and die on him. That monster. Mari says this beetle's a giant stag. It suddenly fell from the tree and surprised everyone. Hero's too grossed out to look. He scares spiders, though. All of us hanging out in a brand new tree house. It looks like Sunny is finally reading the book I showed him. I want to spend every day in here, but it's a shame that summer vacation is almost over. I hope we get to use this tree house more next summer. Space boyfriend. Uh. No, I don't know. I'm reading anyway. Went to Hobbies to read the latest edition of Captain Space Boy. Everyone's so into it right now. I'm sure it's all everyone's going to be talking about once school starts. Playing cards with Kel, Hero, and Aubrey. They're so easy to read, they, can, they can't hide anything on their faces. Mari baked their room cookies from scratch. They were chocolate chip and super delicious, like always. Looks like I have the winning hand, <laughs> but nobody knows that yet. First day of school, yeah, and Aubrey. There we go. Sunny giving Mari a big hug. Mari doesn't come home until late now because she's taking extra classes to prepare for college. Me and Sunny have been hanging out a lot, but I'm sure he still misses her a lot. Mari practicing her part for the big recital next month. We're all going to go watch. 
It's gonna be Mari and Sunny's first performance together. But I know they'll do just fine. We'll be showing our support from the audience. Mari getting a little camera shy because she's made a small mistake. Don't worry, Mari. Just keep going. No one will notice. After some begging, Sunny came to join Mari for her recital practice. <laughs> Still working out some stuff, but they already sound so amazing. I know they're going to be great. Come, Mari, go, Sunny. You can do it. The final picture. Yes, I'm done. Ooh, hey. Holy shit, so a friend of mine sent me a whole, like, million paragraphs. Give me just a moment. Alrighty. There. Now everything is back where it should be. Looks like one photo's still missing, but at least the rest of them are back together. Hmm, one missing, huh? Now, doesn't that feel better? <sighs> we really did have a lot of fun together, huh? Yeah, I guess we really did. I'm sorry, guys. I've been acting like such a jerk. I'm sorry too, Aubrey. I really haven't been treating you so great either. Alright, apologies accepted. Now we can all be friends again. Who wants a hug? Come on, hero, not now. You're so embarrassing. I'm good, thanks. All we need, now, need to do now is check up on Basil. I hope he's feeling better today. Aubrey, knowing everything I heard from Kel, I'm sure you know you need to apologize to him. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> thanks, Aubrey. It's good to have you back. Now let's get you out of this house. Hmm, okay. Holy shit. Oh my god, she's strong. Oh, 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 oh. No wonder she was that strong. More dangerous than a steak knife, yeah. Why Why do you have a nail pad? Why? Prettier than one. Give me a yellow keychain. How about that, huh? Hero, you have cool glasses. <clears throat> what skills do you actually have? Yeah, he has all his skills. You still have just encourage. Home run. Has a chance to instantly defeat a foe. Ooh. It also hurts herself. First aid. Yep, first aid's definitely useful. Though I haven't had to use it. Bun bun. I've been friends for a long time, eh? Used to cover up a hole in the wall. Yay! Holding the walls. Oh. There we go. Yo, Aubrey, you okay? Hey, Kim, I'm good. Thanks for bringing everyone here. Hey, guys, guys, Aubrey's here. Angie has a lot. Yo, over you, you feeling that better? We even saved the taffy for you. What the heck happened in there? Your face is all red. You need me to teach someone a lesson? Don't worry about me, guys. Sorry for ignoring you all earlier. Eh, it's no biggie. We're just glad you're all right. Right, Charlie? Yeah. Aubrey, Aubrey, let's go hang out at the park. I want to show you some cool new moves I came up with. I was practicing all night. Haha, <laughs> that sounds fun, but maybe later. I have some things I need to take care of first. We'll all hang out tomorrow, I promise. Oh, okay. We'll see you later, then. Aubrey, don't keep us waiting too long. You know I won't, Kim. <laughs> Be back before you know it. She has a fucking vicious face. Yay! Freedom! I know it's one of the houses. I don't know which one it is, but it's one of the... Ah, oh, it's that one! Yo, you excited for the party tonight? We'll see you there. Oh, it's tonight. Oh, hello, I remember you. You're the boy who chose the wallpaper for our house. I see you brought your friends. If you're here for the party, I'm sorry. It's still a little bit early. Ah, oh, shoot. That's our bad. We'll just come back later. Hmm? Oh, uh, do you guys smell that? It smells like something is burning. Yeah, sorry. One sec. Oh, party's ruined. Actually, uh, you guys wouldn't happen to know how to cook, would you? I might need a little help with dinner. You need help cooking? Well, today's your lucky day. My real hero is an amazing cook. He'll definitely be able to help cook something right up here. <laughs> uh-huh, I will. Oh, thank you. Please, come inside. And we've been shanghai Oops. 
sorry to trouble you like this. It's my first time cooking for so many people. I'm still a little nervous. No worries, we'll help you out. Won't we, guys? Won't we? Oh, all right then. Come on, team. I'm gonna put you all to work. Oh, uh, wait, wait a second. Even me? Yeah, of course. We used to cook together all the time when we were kids, didn't we? Thank you so much. Feel free to use any ingredients. I don't have a lot, though. Don't worry, I know we can make something delicious. Let's get to work. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> it's literally just floating together. Wow, what smells delicious in here? Oh, hello, Sean. Our new friends were just helping me prepare dinner for tonight's party. Well, looks like you guys are doing a great job. I'm done sitting up outside, so let me help, too. Hey, now everyone can cook together. Yay! Who cares? Oh, wow. All done with your help, this party's going to be a great success. Thank you for all your help again. You're all such genuinely nice people. Anytime. Thanks for trusting us with your kitchen. We really enjoy cooking with you guys. Yeah, this is really fun. Can't wait to eat everything at the party tonight. We'll be waiting for you. Take care of yourselves. Huh. It's going to be stopping me. Some, some, something's going to come up where I'm going to have to make a choice to either come to the party or do something else. I don't know what, but that's what's going to happen. Also, I noticed you didn't use the wallpaper I picked out for you, you bastards. Now, is this guy... Okay, yeah, he's at the tool place. Now, if you remember... There was the, uh... Ooh, hey. And she's diligently sketching away. You're just everywhere, aren't you? I'm afraid we won't be hurling sermon today, but feel free to use this place to collect your thoughts. Everyone is welcome here. Everyone! So, this was Mari's grave up here, then. The one with the yellow flower. Spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Ooh. Our dearest Mari. The sunshine bright when she was here. Oh! Oh, that's what the flowers were for. Apparently it was an achievement. Hey, Mari. It's me again. Sunny Count and Hero are with me this time. Oh, she actually does pray. Do you visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Oh, this is fucking story shit and you couldn't miss it. Hey, Mari, I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... Oh! Fuck. Oh, that is a real face. Oh, that is a real face. I'm just really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Oof. Here, this is for you, Mari. From all of us. Take it away. You oh! Well, that's interesting. Oh, a secret picnic thing. But someone's dying tonight. So yeah, the game's ending tonight, no matter what. <laughs> that's that's what he, that's what he's telling me right now. The game ends tonight. Hmm. Let's see here. <sighs> Talking to people because there's a thing going on tonight, so I'm wondering if I'm going to have enough time to actually beat the game tonight. Or I'm, I might have to split up in two sessions, which is fine. I'll just do another session tomorrow. Uh, Basil, right. I could work again today, but I don't think so. There we are. Hey, Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if you could hang out with him today. Oh, hello, everyone. I'm afraid Basil is at home right now. He's in the hospital. Ooh. What? What happened? 
Oh, my apologies. Let me clarify. Basil is in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh, no. I'm really sorry to hear about that. Do you know when he'll be back? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we check back here later? We're all really worried about him. I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I really happen to know that Basil has friends that care so much about him. Oh, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah, sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See ya, Polly. Okay, see ya. So, his grandma's gonna die, and that's gonna cause him to go over the edge. I think that's what he means by the spirits are howling. Well, I guess we have to wait until he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? I'm okay just hanging out and doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Sure, maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later, when it cools down, we can all go see the treehouse. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Especially with, since Aubrey's with us now, too. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet, either. We wanted to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What do you, you want to do today? It's your last day, so you should call the shots. Yeah, you should decide how you want to spend your last day in far away town. Lead the way, Sonny. Whee! I want to spend the day running around circles. <laughs> hey, cat. You lead us to something. I'm going to hold off. Mm, looks like the bus is late today. Yes. Oh, everyone's here. <laughs> Kim is a lot of talk, but she's got a big heart. And me? I got some big muscles. Hey, well, looky here. It's Aubrey and the nerds. Hey, Kim. Hey, Kim. How's it hanging? Oh, you know, pretty good, pretty good. My dad said he's gonna take us for a sick party tonight. Should be cool. Oh, yeah, we're gonna party. I told my big sister about my crush. She wanted me to show him to her. And we're standing around where he usually hangs out with his friends. When Baby told me about her crush, I had to see him for myself. So far, he's a no-show, but Baby told me we're looking for someone with an obviously fake blonde wig. Oh. Oh, Baby has pretty bad taste in guys. Who's going to look at after her when I go back to college? Large metal cat. Remember it being a lot bigger. <laughs> oh, shit, it's Story. Hey, Sonny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the only one that should have been there for you. I don't know if, we were, if we'll really ever get over Mari's death. But it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. A anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you. But I think you're looking a little pale. And kind of thin too. After you move, promise you'll go outside more often, okay? Oh, boy. Ain't that fun. Yay, more trash. Yay, more trash. Must be kind of stressful lately, but people watching out here have to put things into perspective. Oh, yeah, it's you again. Nope, nope, not talking to you. Bark, 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 bark. Good boy's eye. No. I was Sally sat on your foot. Well, hello, boys. Good to see you're finally spending some quality time with me. Please stay for a while. We're having the best weather. Nothing like noise. Oh, dag, no, no, dog, 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 garnet. Kelly, your old man is such a fool. We're at a beautiful picnic, but I've got the most important ingredient meat. Could you spare some time and buy some of the good old cheap stuff at the Elder Mart? Here's some cash. Just talk to the meat man in the back. He'll be right up. 20 bucks. Wow. Thankfully, I already had it. Thanks, champ. This is just what I was looking for. It'll make some tasty hamburgers. Y'all should drop by later in the evening. You'll definitely want to try some of this deliciousness. But for now, go on and enjoy yourselves. The weather's great today. So, it looks like I lost my chance at getting whatever seashell thing it was. Ooh. Ah, it's you good lads. I have some wonderful news. By a stroke of fantastical luck, it seems I have struck gold and won the lottery. You have been so gracious to me. Please take this as a token of my appreciation. Ooh. See, I told you I'd pay you back. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You wondering why I'm still here from the rich? I'm enjoying the sunshine, of course. I can figure out everything else tomorrow. He's, he's kind of right. Sometimes it's just the small things that you need. Are oh, you lucky you go watch? Real gold, I tell you. 
Mm-hmm. There you go. Yes! Not money to do absolutely nothing with. I wonder if I kept the coin, if I'd be able to do something with it. Hey, it's you guys again. Still working towards earning enough money moves so I can become a big star. I will give you ten bucks. Yes. Twenty-six bucks. I'm almost there. Just a little more and I can leave for the city. Well, you know what that means. First, I'm going to go in here. Oh, hey, easier. Look at all these super rare and expensive trading cards. I want to complete my collection. I only have five dollars on me. Man, sucks to me, kid. Whoa, what's this? Is a fresh $20 bill in my butt pocket? This must be my luck day. <laughs> I guess I can afford at least one super rare card today. Uh-huh. This place is kind of small. Oh, uh, yeah, you're the same person as before. You want to read comics with your friends? Yes! Everyone reads comics! Right, I think I didn't do this. Cost a dollar to play, yes. Oh, wait, I think I did play this. Yes, I did, okay. Let's just end this. Yeah, I'm just gonna end this. What is this? Oh, it's the power up, right? Destroy it! Destroy it! I need to destroy it quicker! Damn you! <laughs> Shoot faster, damn it! There we go, thank you. Uh, the one time I wanted it to be faster. Nothing you haven't seen. Alright, let's go ahead. Dad really approved me, but my little sister Joy kept insisting I should go for it. She would say things like, Dad will get over eventually and whatnot. Haha, <laughs> look at me. Taking advice from my little sister. Hey, we're supposed to be the one giving her advice. Oh, he was just expanding more. I'll give you some more bucks. 36 bucks. Whoa, thank you for everything. With that last donation, looks like I'm finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister Joy know first. Today's the day. I'm finally leaving town to become a musician. All those big words I said about making it as a star. I'm going to follow through with that and try the best in the big city. Wish me luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yep, pizza place, but I'm not even gonna bother. Still missing a rare important piece. Looks like it was just bitten off right here. Wonder where it could be. You wanna have a pizza with your friends? Yes. <laughs> you actually did get a pizza. What the hell? Okay, so at this point, it's literally less like, eh, you can hang out everywhere with your friends now. Damn it, Kel. Seriously. Advertisements. It was bitten off. I have no fucking idea where it is. That's probably not gonna get fixed. No, you stay away from me! Bastard. Is the leak guy here? Yes, he is. Two kids again. How's your day been? My day's been horrible. Guess what? The pipe is broken again, and somehow I've done irreversible damage to my house. How did I know this was gonna happen? Oh, such a failure. I just... I don't want to make them proud. Urgh, I gotta pull myself together. This is just one easy pipe I can get through this. I'm gonna tools I'm ready for one more time. Just gotta keep my head up. Yes, I can do this. Coming for you, Leek. I'm gonna get rid of you once and for all. Yeah. So this will be the final attempt for him. Oh, hey. Hello. Here, this is for you. Ooh, a flower clip. Flowers are so pretty. Alright, well, I wasn't gonna do it, but now that you did that. There you go. She's now wearing a flower clip. I think this game out of all of them is probably the worst one, because it's just putting them in one of their places. It's just, it's just a time waster. At least everything else, you have to do stuff. I love bananas so much, I could stare at them all day. These delicious, yellow, long bananas. Mm. I wonder what I should cook for my daughter's night. Although I don't cook very often, maybe I should opt, that. Take, opt for takeout. Really? 
Alright. Yes. Give me some more. Because I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to run into. I might as well buy a fish since there's a cat I'm going to have to deal with. Yes, I wish for yummy fish. That's really expensive. Holy shit. Why are you expensive? Hey, some bread twins. Fresh bread, fresh bread. Ooh, bread. Hey, sweetheart. I'll take a caramel apple. <laughs> Poor sweetheart. I told you, Curtsy, it's Smiley. <laughs> smiley! Yes, man. Ah, uh, poor girl. So that's pretty much it. Everything here is donezo. I guess now it's literally just talk to the leak guy and then go back to the house. Yeah, fixing the arcade machine is not happening here. It probably exists somewhere, but how and where and what? I, I have a goddamn clue. Hold on a second, I want to buy a drink. Hmm, no, no, not this one. Wait, you're buying soda, but you're passing on good old Orange Joe? How could you? Ew, you still drink Orange Joe? That's so grossly sweet. Like it was made for babies. Oh yeah, if it was made for babies, why would it contain 150 milligrams of caffeine per can? Do your research, Aubrey. Hmm, <laughs> whatever. Everyone knows Orange Joe tastes putrid. You're probably the only person in the world who buys this crap. Well, now you're getting personal. How dare you insult my dear friend Orange Joe? When was the last time you even tried it? I'll show you. Kel, what are you doing? <laughs> he followed Joe. Hey, this Ken's design is from like five years ago, and it's expired. I told you, no one buys this stuff. Worry not, my dear friend, Orange Joe. No matter what, I'll still drink you. Mm. Yep. Mmm, delicious. You're gross. <laughs> and you owe me a dollar. Yeah, yeah, I'll give it to you later. Oh, boy. Now they're just having fun and acting like everything's normal. I noticed the recyclists aren't here. Alright, well, I might as well take care of uh, the leak guy first before I go into the cat. I feel like cat... The, the cat direction is uh, moving forward. Hello. Speaking of which, hang on a second. I'm definitely afraid that it's not recording the sound, that's why. <laughs> hey, it's you guys again. Did you all come because you were worried about me? That's so thoughtful of you. Come in, I think I really have it this time. I feel it in my bones. It wasn't bones, but whatever. Alright, let's see how... I I'm expecting the all the pipes to burst. Like, it'll just be a torrent of rain. I'm flooding. It's gotta be fixed now, it's just gotta... Ah! Oh, Aubrey does it. Here, I got this. Oh, what is she gonna? What is she gonna do? Oh wow, this is actually really good. <laughs> He's like, what? 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 Oh, yeah! I can't believe it. It's fixed. It's really fixed. I'm so happy I could cry. You're amazing. Beyond amazing. Phenomenal, even. How can I ever repay you? It's, uh, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Everyone, thanks for being here for me to, through this hard time. In return, please take the CD I found in the hole in the wall. You got cool with CD. You don't have a son and daughter just about your age. Their names are Vance and Kim. My mother and I separated when Kim was just a baby. I don't see them as often as I like, so I make sure to spoil them candy when I do. <laughs> oh, so you're Kim and Vance's dad? I sure am. Proud of it. Even if they're always getting into trouble. At least they take care of each other. Haha. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Anyway, I think it's about time I enjoy some drip-free rest and relaxation. Thanks again, guys. You're always welcome here. Yay! Solve troubles. Yeah, the kids are going to our neighborhood. To our neighbor's house warm party tonight. Gotta love free food! Yay! Food. 
I'm a little worried about that. Alright, so cat time. Yay! You know it's gonna lead to death. It's the black cat. It's Mari's cat. Okay. Where'd you go? It looks like the sun is about to set. You wanna go see the treehouse now, Sonny? No. I think that's it for, uh, quests, right? Yep. Let's see. It's alright, she hasn't been in the house yet. She's doing the same thing that they did when he came in here. Wow. I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. Uh-huh. Surrounded by the darkness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So that we can face this together. Oh, you know, at the very least, he... Buried the hatchet. Oh, come on, you just buried the hatchet. It's okay, hero. I'll go first. Here it comes. Death. Hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could? Aubrey, Sonny, are you cummies? Cummies? Whatever. Actually, never mind. It's nothing. She would buy one to say to keep in touch. He's finally gonna go out there, huh? <sighs> yes. You basically have a force. Oh, the tree got that tree house got cut down. Huh? This is where Mari... Yeah, it is. It feels like forever ago. Wait a minute! Did she get hung? Remember in the hole that we went there, there was a, uh, there was a tree with a fucking noose? She killed herself. It feels like forever ago, but I can still remember that day perfectly. That that day was really busy. In the morning, I went out with Mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until afternoon. I remember that day, too. I went out to get a haircut with Dad. Oh, yeah, you were there with your dad, too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I, I don't think any of us will ever will. Hey guys, let's let's keep going. Okay. Seems to be a theme in the family, or at least you know, in the dreamer side of the family. Alright, what exists up here in this treehouse, huh? Wow, this is old. Oh, that's the final picture! <laughs> Kel runs up here. Wow, this place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. Three years running. All our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, you're so dirty. Plant Egg. Look at all these old books. So this is where all my cookbooks went. <laughs> Die! I think I just stepped on Jack. Ah, man. Such good times. 
Hmm. Why do we have a toaster in here? Baseball bat. Mari used to play softball, but Quentin, she injured her knee. Plants made from paper. Aubrey and Basil made these together. No TV. Kel brought up here, but it was pretty fun when he found out he couldn't use it. Yo, yo, you only knew how to walk the dog. Kel's old shoes. He forgot your, his stuff at your house frequently. Here was cookbooks. Mari brought them for his birthday. Man, that was the best at card games. Mm -hmm. Mr. Planet is dirty. There, good as new. Uh, okay. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted to cook with it. Kill was such a weird kid. Calendar of day the recitals passed. Yeah, I'm gonna look at the picture. I just wanted to see it everything else. Ah. Why did... Don't forget, it's in the toy box. Oh, no. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sonny found a photo of us. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. Something about the toy box. Funny enough, I, I didn't remember the empty spot there. <clears throat> Basil's memories are completed. <coughs> there. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be able to... We'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, Hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. Or, or, we just look at the picture we added and that'll be it. Ta-da, all summer we've been working in Treehouse in Sunny's backyard. Today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put the win in the windowsill. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. And done. Yes, I'm done. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I, I miss her too. Hey, come on, guys. What a long faces. Look at all of us back together again. So, yeah, Kale's the comic relief. He sees everyone start getting emotional and he tries to cheer everyone up. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. If only Basil could be here, too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Hmm. So, was Sonny left alone? Yes, he was! Oh. I guess they needed to visit the place. Ah, you put a, a memorial marker. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize that I was... I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports, and Hero always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry at how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me and abandoned Mari too. Basically not taking her death as hard as she felt it should be. Or as hard as she felt it. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said I had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album in his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But... When I opened it. Yep. Basil had blacked out all the photographs of Marker. I couldn't believe it. 
He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. It felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since then, all I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did, yet I'm the one who was angry at him. I'm such an idiot. Oh, there it is. There's the breakdown. Interesting that Sunny backs off. Uh, hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you, Sonny. I was pretty a crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. Uh, I just... Ah, no, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all their faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's a good point. It's all right, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, caught me in. Wait, just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> Aww. Look at how embarrassed she is. Funny enough, I, I actually connect quite a bit to Aubrey, and that's as far as I'm going to go with that. <laughs> we should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now, he's probably the one that needs us the most. Look at this marker. Pinwell blows freely in the wind. Yay! For a moment, though, I thought that was spooky ghost sound. Yes, because I have a feeling we're, we're getting to, uh... We're wrapping things up. Hmm. I wonder if now is the perfect... Oh, hey, what are you doing out there? She did die. She totally died. Oh, no. That's messed up. Hey everyone, come on in. The party's already started. There we go. Ooh, achievement. Hey, it's you. Darn, I guess this party isn't cool anymore. <laughs> Just kidding, nerd. Anyways, Aubrey told me that you were moving away tomorrow. That sounds kind of sucky, but I'm sure you'll, you'll be okay. Oh, that wasn't me grumbling. That was just my stomach. I better start on this food before it's all gone. Parties aren't really my thing, but this is kind of nice. Hmm, and I guess it's true what they say. Food always tastes better when you cook it yourself. Mmm, munch. Uh, is it? Oh, yeah, free food. <laughs> Quality time with two kiddos who could ask for more. I haven't been into a party like this in a long time. We have parties in college, too, but they're not as <clears throat> quite. <laughs> I'm glad everyone's enjoying the food, though. It's the culmination of our hard work. Yeah, I've been to a dorm party. Well, the after effects of a dorm party. Boy, people splayed out in the hallways, drunk and shit. Oh, it's pretty fucking crazy. Well, today's our last day together, huh, Sonny? It's nice that we have a chance to celebrate with everyone before you head off to New Horizons. Just enjoy yourself and relax for now. We're in good company. Oh, please make yourself at home. Just for a few hours. Please relax and have some food. You can stay as long as you like. Reasonably. Anyone in the back? No. Okay. So I accomplished what I needed to do was just do the horse warming party, and that's all the quests. Yeah, I, I can't finish the seashell because she's not there anymore, so that's long gone. Oh, okay, good. I don't lose the ability to uh to do that, thank God. Alright, so 
Yep. I was right. Seashell lady's gone. Hey, champs, here's one burger for each of you, as promised. Four hamburgers. Wow. It's been a long time since I've seen all of you hanging out. Reminds me of when you all were still children. <laughs> Sonny, good luck moving, moving, moving try tomorrow. Remember to visit every now and then. I know Kel's going to be lonely without you. Ah, Dad, stop it. You're embarrassing me. Oh. Here's a lesson from your old man. As you get older, it's going to get harder and harder to make friends. So if you think you have a good one, it's important to cherish them. Friends can be your, can be for life, you hear me? Well, hello, boys. Good to see you. Finally spending quality time with me. Please stay there. I really give her. Whatever, you old big. Alright, so this is pretty much it. I don't think there's anything here. But I'm just gonna check. Oh! Oh, this is... A more lore screen. Secret lore screen. So this is your, your hangout spot with your new friends, huh? Yeah, so what? Eh, nothing really. Can't really blame you. It's a pretty cool place. The lake's a little murkier now, but I remember we used to swim here all the time. What's the same as it always did? You just had lower standards. <laughs> maybe so, maybe so. So why didn't we stop swimming here again? You don't remember? Mari stopped wanting to come here after this. After that time, Sunny almost drowned. That's why you got afraid of running. Oh man, I can't believe you forgot about that. Kel and I used to do tricks jumping off that statue, but when we asked Sunny to try it, he froze up and fell into the lake. Do you remember, Sunny? It all happened so fast. And even though we were already in the water, it wasn't us who saved you. No, it was Mari. Oh, no, it was Mari. She dived in before we could even react. I'll never forget that moment that she carried you out of the lake. And when you finally opened your eyes, she fell on top of you and burst into tears. I had never seen her with that way before. Mari really loved you, Sonny. You know that, don't you? It's... Hi, Shadow People. <laughs> She's just whacking her plant. Hey, Aubrey! What do you want, Kel? I've been thinking. We get into fights all the time, huh? Yeah, we do. But even after everything, we're still friends, right? Yeah, I guess we are. Huh, isn't that weird? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> oh, you two. That just means that you two are really comfortable around each other. I'm a little jealous that you two can be so candid after all this time. I think that there's something really special. Really? I was just about to say that I find it kind of annoying. <laughs> oh, you're such an idiot. There we go. Another hint. Ooh, you found a seashell. <gasps> There's the other seashell. Oh, fuck. Too late now. She's gone. Ah, uh, so when I was doing that, I should have come back up here to get the seashell. Shit. We're at the new station to see, but sometimes I'd fire pipe. Right. This is something really relaxing about this place. I wonder if she's in any of the houses that we can get into. Probably not. Hmm. This is the first time, first spot I met my crush. I hope he comes by soon. Nope. Gone forever. Okay, you're just saying the same thing. Ah! I. Damn it! Trying to... Basil, is your house down here? Yeah, of course it is. But I don't think... I don't think I can find her here. Some money and send him out on some errands this morning, but he hasn't come back yet. Knowing him, his spy just forgot. Find him, can you check up on him? Tell him his sister. He's growing impatient. I don't wanna! Oh, the card thing. Alright, well, let's do this before we. Because going to this house, I'm pretty sure it's gonna end it. 
It's gonna lead to an ending for sure. Is it a good ending? A bad ending? Who knows? Considering the way this game is set up, it feels very much like there's different endings. What the triggers are, I don't know. Hey, Angel. Hey, Angel, your sister's looking for you. She said she sent you on some errands earlier today. Huh? Errands? What errands? Oh, crap, I forgot I was supposed to buy some art supplies for them this morning. Uh, uh-oh. So that's why I had this money in my pocket. Oops. Hey, uh, when you were talking to my sister, did, did she look angry? Eh, no. <laughs> like, is that so? Well, you can never beat the shirt, can you? I should probably head back now, just to be safe. I'll catch up with you guys later. I, uh, I gotta go. Well, you're dead. You had a nice life. <laughs> Alright, well. I might as well check, right? It's, it's the only quest I have left. But again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it. Nobody answered. Yep. This is the two people's house. Yeah, this is the mom. Yep, yeah, okay. It's not in this house. Hmm. Where? Again, I might not have access to the house, so... I lot of good that's gonna do me. Hmm. This is the grandma's house. She's not here. Why are you not here? There you are. <laughs> You're supposed to visit all ladies such a show the much better things you do with your time. Nah. Right, don't you have a uh, a son that's just locked in here? Yep. I'm a bit as glad as it were. Oh, I remember my days in the constable. How I perpetrated my powers. Ah, I hate it! Go away! Mm. So, yeah. I lost my chance to get the sheet at the seashell. So, those of you watching, if you want to know where the other seashell is, it's up there. Again, I don't know if all you need is four, but there you go. You know, I should have turned in the CD while I was up there. Ah! Damn it! Get for blah, blah, blah. Genos. Yeah, there's also his thing, but I don't know where the hell it is. There we go. You even said the coolest CD. No. Hmm. I haven't got a damn clue where the hell the bite one thing is. It was bitten off, I would imagine it'd be at the paw. Ooh, hey! Well. Lucky me! I, it's probably been there, I just didn't notice. Yes. Fell straight from the bottom. I wonder if you can get multiple coins. And the answer is... No, or at least I can't tell. It's interesting that you get Aubrey at the end here, but there's not really a reason to have her here. You can't really fight. The only fight that you've had, that has been the other two days, nothing really here. I don't see any reason for a fight to break out, either. Let's see here. Sorry about that. Keep having to blow my nose. Oh, thank goodness you guys came back. Is something wrong? Well, Basil's back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now, but when Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone, but I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course! I'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. Yep, this is it. Alright. 
before I do that, let's go here and see what's happened to Angel. Because Angel's gonna die. <laughs> Angel, get back here. I'm sorry, sis. Please, I beg you, not that. Anything but that. Ah! Oh, it's just you guys. Thanks for fetching my baby brother. He, he's in a better place now. <laughs> just kidding. He's just standing in the corner like a timeout. Maybe next time I'll think twice before you use all the money to buy trading cards. Just here, take this. Ooh. I pretended to rip one of his ultra rare cards earlier just to freak him out a little. But that's the real one right there. Just hold on to a few days or so before you give back to him. <laughs> that should teach him a lesson. That's really fucked up. Angel's roll is all you Oh, oh no. How could you? There are only four of its kind. Alright. We pushed it off long enough. The time has come to go confront Basil. <coughs> Look at this picnic basket that just happens to be here. You know, for horrible, horrible things. Basil has been all by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know that Basil has friends who care about him so much. Mm-hmm. Hi, Basil, it's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. We're all here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? We just wanted to let you know that we're here. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days, it's that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time, we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we sleep here for the night? Oh, you are so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome! I'll call the couch. I call the couch. Oh, this is all happening so fast. Okay, then since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. I'll go grab them now. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh! It's because I called it first! Oh fuck! Ow, that hurt! I fucking punched him! What do we got? Oh, Basil, why can't you see that everyone is here for you? Because everyone can go fuck off. Do you want to hang out with friends? Yes. Yay! Hanging out watching TV. They're just talking. Alright. This is actually the first one I'm not allowed to skip. Interesting. Huh. Ah, there we go. That's why I wasn't allowed to skip it. So we really are spending the last night here. Hey, Sonny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were think expecting. But I just wanted you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Ah, oh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> he has always been such a big softy. Just like you, Aubrey. What did you say? <laughs> it's nice to hang out like this again. It's been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make, make friends anymore. <sighs> well, you always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's the softy now. Hmm. By the way, I know she got the couch. But yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be there for each other. Just like I know that Marty is still here with us, too. 
You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It would be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. <sighs> Man, I'm getting sleepy. And he's out. Yep. What the? Is he asleep already? <laughs> yeah, of course he is. Yep, that's Kel for you. That part of him hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny, thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. I hope you're not too worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm, life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny, after you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something. That's what she was trying to say. Yeah, then we can all hang out and <laughs> go out for some sandwiches. Or maybe we can all go out to the park, or the beach, or just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. You think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. The more the merrier, after all. Meanwhile... <sighs> come on, guys. It's time to sleep already. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sonny. See you all in the morning. Alright, so what's gonna happen, huh? It's funny, they actually have TV sounds. You can hear it. Look at your friends one last time. Before they all die. 